Okay, so. Hey, this is Jonathan Zeal for my final project. I chose to do capturing the TCP through a through a handshake for Wireshark, and um, as well as finding the IP addresses of two virtual machines and using a Zen map or Nmap to figure out how to scan for the TCP through a handshake on Backtrack. So these are my virtual machines. They are Windows XP Professional 64. See over here, Wireshark, command line, all of those good stuff. Backtrack, of course, our toolkit. And the other one is a Windows 7 Pro. So, in order to do this, we have to um, first find, the first step is to find the, in order to get the TCP through a handshake, the first step is the command prompt. Everything, go on to command prompt, I have to find the IP address of all, of all these, um, all these virtual machines. So, we're going to type in this command. You can see right here. If IP config, sorry. If is for backtrack. And you can see it's 192.168.188.128 is the final IP v4 address. Which on this one, for the Windows 7, IP, sorry, I can't type. This one says 192.168, same subnet mask, 188.134. Pairing the same subnet mask. Same subnet mask is 188. That's good. But it's 128 instead of 134 at the end for that one. This is Terminal. Terminal is basically Mac and Backtracks and a few other like Linux and stuff. It's, it's, it's their way of um, having a command prompt. So our quote, our, code, our thing we're supposed to type in is not going to be IP config, it's going to be if config. And there you go. Same subnet mask. 192.168.188.133. It's not 191. And it's not 1.234.128. Uh, it's 133 at the end. So, now you're probably wondering why do I need to have that? Well, because um, in order to ping the addresses, IP addresses to each other, you have to ping the opposite one. So we're just going to deal with the XP and the 7 right here. That's all we need to deal with but right now. That is done by going ping 192.168.188. Sorry. I cannot type J. 134. And looks like we're getting some replies. That one's fine. So the ping looks like. Then we're going to do the opposite, this one. This one's got some replies too. So that's good. It's really good. Now our third step in order to find the we don't need what and we know that we're on the same network, which is good. That's all we need to know is what pinging does. And now we don't, all we need to find I'm gonna leave this open just in case is uh the I'll type and close it. We'll go into Zen map. Remember, this one is 2.8, and this one is the other one, so the 7s, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, then the other one is 1, 2, 8, and then 64. So, um, uh, let's go to ZenMap, under Applications, Internet, ZenMap. It's basically the GUI version of a graphical user interface of NMAP, and, um, yeah, it's a lot easier to use. I'll leave it at that. So, we're going to do an intense scan. On the Windows 7 Pro first, which is 134. And we're going to get Wireshark started up just in case. Because that's what you do the scans from. Excuse me. And when it starts up, we'll go up, click Intense Scan. There you go. Wireshark is a packet sniffing analysis tool that helps um, people track down IP addresses. And also, can be used to find the connection through a handshake, so I'll explain that in a minute. There we go, click scan. And whoops, capture. Start. This might take some time, this might take a little bit of time. Here's one of the IP addresses. Look at all these puppies coming up. Oh wow, fun. 
And it'll tell us when it's done, too. It's gonna say, um... See, we're on this. It's gonna tell us when it's done. Under this, it's not done yet. This is a time elapsed. And usually it scans about a thousand ports unless you tell it not to. And it's a quick scan. It does, like, um... What's it called? A um, hundred ports. There's certain ports that do, like... Certain ones do, like, a ton of every single port possible. It looks like it might be still going. Yeah, it does look like that. Now the 133 here is because it's coming from the backtrack, but this is 134. Those are certain ones. Now the TCP handshake is also known as the SYN ACK. No, SYN. I'm sorry. It's the SYN, SYN ACK, ACK handshake. And basically that is, um, Sin-Sin-Ack Handshake is, a uh, sin sin -ack, ack Handshake, sorry. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, we can probably stop this scanning scenario. As you saw the end maps, it's done. There you go. And, um, I'm going to sort it by protocol. And it should say TCP... Uh, sorry about my mumbling out of my breath. That's what I do a lot of time. It's getting way too slow. Oh my god. Like, see how the sin, sin, act? Well, it should say act underneath. And once you find those three, that's the TCP three way. Usually it's under the last red, but like that doesn't seem to make sense. It's ACK RAS2. Okay. Here we go. It's under one of them. It is two seven two eight seven seven two eight seven eight two eight seven nine and it's sin sin ack ack. Now a three way handshake, what they're talking about I went out from what the research I've seen, is um it is basically um handshake in which the um, it's it's basically it helps establish connection and stop spoofing. So um, so basically like if person A said per hi to person B and person B said hi to person A, and then they started exchanging conversation. What that means is that they're actually it's a, it's real. It's like a connection. It's a connection for communication. Well, this is the connection for the computer. It's kind of a strange analogy, but it's something that might help you get the idea of it. And if you want to play around, so you can follow like the TCP stream code and everything. But I just wouldn't do that right now. It's not something I really want to pursue right now. But this is Wireshark for. Those people who don't know about it. Now we're gonna do it on this one. Same type of thing. Intense scan. Uh, we're gonna get the Wireshark over more professional. The pro. Should open up in 64. I don't know why it's open now. Opening up in 64. Oh, it's a little bit slow today. Okay, I see how this works. So, anyway, um, let's take a look at the Zen Apple. Well, in the meantime, um, th this is like the, there's, oh, well, for a second, there are packets that are sent, there's, it also tells p open portholes on Zen Map, it's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. They go into this address, the address it went to, and, oh, look, open, 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 this is a very dangerous port, 139, I've looked it up before, it's kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. And this is Wireshark. Start this puppy up after we get the intense scan done. Boom, here we go. Boom. Boom. Live capture coming in. So, this is the same as we did last time. Remember, the first step to doing this is finding the IP address and command prompt. Then you ping it. Then you do this. 
the water shark after you find the after you put the ZMF, ZMF scan in. I will get a captured screenshot of the TCP handshake for a sec. Okay, this is definitely. Here are the raw packets sent 1097. Here are the ones received 1000. Um, what's it called? Uh, 17. And it does look like it is done as well. Or does it? Let's take a look. Yes, it's done completely. This is done. I'm done so. Oopsies, we're going to stop this puppy up. Bing. Protocol. In and. What the hell? Here we go, sin. Number 2932094295. Sin, Sin, Ack, and Ack. Our favorite ones. We're going to get a nice screenshot of this. Cut this part out when I get to it. But... What you see is this is where it's at. Where the black box is. Sin, Sin, Ack, Ack. There you go. Uh, and as for here, well, it's a little different over here. Sin, sin, f, f. Three way handshake right there. There we go. We got connection in the house. Okay, so now that I've showed you the command line of uh, pinging and IP first, Zen map and um, the three-way handshake with Wireshark, I'm happy to show you in my other video I'm going to try and make, um, Zen map scanning. Um, and that's not Zen map, that's different, and I'm also going to try and show you a few different types of scans that I'm going to explore around with. So. Thank you for my time, and I appreciate that you watched the presentation. Hope you got some good, good information out of it. Thank you.